Hello! For this week's nail art I really felt like challenging myself with painting so I decided to do old fashioned mills. And for the background I used uh, Briar Wood by A. England. And for the painting I used a lot of acrylic paint as you can see here. So yeah, pretty much, um, yeah, this isn't much a tutorial as just me practicing and painting stuff on my nails. I really wanted to do something that I haven't done often before and something that, yeah, something that actually doesn't seem to me, didn't seem like to me like something I would easily manage to do, you know, like I really wanted to challenge myself. Um, so yeah, what I did is pretty much look up a few pictures of old fashioned windmills and then just pretty much, yeah, not really go for one single picture, but sort of go for what I think looks pretty. And is doable for me. So yeah, what I did is just really practice at also the shading and all. And yeah, the windmills are actually not all that difficult to do as it turns out. Um, they're mostly just sort of cones with, you know, a cross over them pretty much. So yeah, what I really try to focus on is the shading and all. And yeah, as you can see here, I'm doing this with black and white. So I'm just making pretty much the shapes in whatever color they're supposed to be. Then just doing a black stripe, smearing it out, and a white stripe, and blending it out, and just really trying to make it look smooth. Originally I wasn't actually planning on doing an outline, but it turns out it looks better with the outline. Because it just stands out more. Um, in hindsight, actually, I would probably also use a paler background color. Like, I wanted to go for sort of a, you know, not a clear, nice blue sky, but sort of a dreary sky. Sort of creepy-ish. I mean, I know Halloween's already over by now, but still... I wanted to do sort of a creepy-ish theme still. And yeah, so I went for this reddish-brown color, uh, which is a very beautiful color, nail polish color. However, it does make it so that the brown windmills don't really stand out all that much. So yeah, in hindsight, I would have probably cho chosen like maybe a bluish-gray shade, maybe. At least something that contrasts a little bit more with the mills. And yeah, as I said, I didn't really have a specific design in mind. I really just wanted to practice. So um, yeah, on the first nail, on the ring finger nail, I did a windmill from like a little bit in the distance. Then on the middle finger nail, as you can see here, I did it a little bit more up close and more detail in like the top part of the windmill. And then on the next nail, I'm just going to do one of the, uh, I don't even know what they're called, one of the like out sticking out things of the windmill. For really up close in detail. And yeah, they actually have a rack that um, I have no idea what those are called officially because I know nothing about mills. But um, they have sort of a rack that like a cloth can be, hang can be hung on it and then it catches the wind. Um, so yeah, I decided to paint one that doesn't have the cloth on it because otherwise it would have just been a stripe of, you know, of white and it would have been boring to paint. So I painted the empty rack instead, as you can see on this detail nail here. And yeah, then once everything is dry, it's time for top coat. I'm using Essence Studio Nails, um, better than gel nails top coat. And as you can see, it does actually make everything shiny, obviously, but it also makes the design stand out more because it makes like it sort of makes the red, the red shade come out in the nail polish. So that's actually very nice. And then that's the final look. Um, yeah, as it turns out, it was quite a challenge to paint this. Um, I really noticed I got to practice on painting really tiny details, so that's definitely something I'm going to try more often, just to get better at it. Um, for now, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye! Yes, but for now, I thought I'd just stick with what I can, you know, do with these. Which is this, um, so yeah, one thing that stood 